Well, with that, let's head to Vamakshi and talk about MCX, which is also up and about. It's reacting to a note. I think this is also from Motilal Oswal, Vamakshi. Well, absolutely, so be uh, uh, MCX is a buzz on the back of that brokerage note that came in from Motila Loswal. They've gone ahead and upgraded the stock from neutral to buy, given a target price of 4,300 rupees per share. Largely, what they're highlighting is that new products and variations in the existing ones will be key drivers for the company. They launched steel TMT bar contracts, which could be a good volume generator over the medium term. Uh, they've applied for power future contracts, and they see huge potential here as well. And they also plan, plan to launch mini contracts on other metal products, uh, which will again enable the company to boost its volumes. Regulatory measures like interoperability of margins, rectification of dif difference in cal uh, calculation of margins between the equity and commodity markets uh, may help the company to boost their uh, volumes further. Apart from that, they also highlight that retail participation has significant headroom for growth and they say this because MCX currently has around 1.4 million UCCs as compared to nearly 40 million active clients on the NSC. Apart from that, we all know that the company has struggled over the last few years given its transition uh, in the core operating software from 63 moons to the, uh, TCS and after the uh, transition has been completed, uh, they've noted a significant jump as far as the volumes are concerned. Overall, they're expecting a 47% CAGR in option volumes from FY24 to 26. They expect the company to have uh, to post a, a, an EBITDA CAGR of almost 205% and a bad CAGR of almost 157% over the same period. Yet. So largely, the tech overhang behind, the near-term potential drivers in place, and therefore they see meaningful upside potential in this counter. Thank you very much for that. We'll get into a break on the